Psalms 1, 36 says, Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. I'd like to welcome you to the Quarantine Chapel Sunday Thanksgiving service. I pray today that this service would help us to bring our thanksgiving towards God in prayer and worship for all that he has done for us and the difference that he has made in our hearts and in our lives. I'd like you to join me in prayer as we approach the throne of grace today at this time. Almighty God, we want to thank you so much for your goodness and for your grace. For all that you have done, dear Lord, within our lives, within our families, within our country, within our world, from the depths of our hearts. We fall at your feet in gratitude, saying, thank you, Lord. You promise that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And no matter what we have endured, we know that your presence has always been with us and you have delivered us in so many ways. And today, dear Lord, we come with a grateful heart, with thanksgiving. We ask for your rich blessings upon our service today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Today, I'd like to share a very special sermon with you entitled, A Different Thanksgiving, or Thanksgiving with a Difference. This year, for millions and millions of Americans, Thanksgiving would be, will be very different. It would be different because, like me, one of your loved ones will not be at the Thanksgiving table because that person has passed. It will be different for you because so many of your loved ones are in the hospital trying to recover from one illness or another. It will be different for so many of us. But even though it might be different where our families are concerned, it should not be any different in our praise to Almighty God. In fact, if we're going to make it different to our praise to Almighty God, we should praise Him more from a heart full of gratitude, a heart full of thanksgiving for all that He has done for us in our hearts and in our lives. The scripture today helps us to fully understand the rich blessings of God's presence within our lives and how he intervened and interceded regardless of what's going on in our lives. I want to read to you from the book of Luke chapter 17 from verse 11, where the Bible says, And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria. And there he saw three lepers. And they lift up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show thyself unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down at his, on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. We need to fall down before God on our faces. We need to fall down uh, before God uh, and uh, with a grateful heart, give him thanks. Uh, 
This can be a different Thanksgiving for you and me eh, because uh, we need to be able to show forth uh, our gratitude to God in ways and means that, that we have never done it before. And when I'm talking about Thanksgiving, I'm not talking about uh, the cliche of just saying thanks. But when we say thanks to Almighty God with a grateful heart, when we say thanks to Almighty God, uh, it means that our entire life uh, and our entire being uh, and our entire body and soul uh, is involved with this thanksgiving because uh, God has done for us what we could not do for ourselves. Here in the Bible, the Bible talks about uh, Jesus hearing uh, these lepers cry. They were afflicted with a disease that was very contagious. No one could have gone near to them. In fact, they had a sign on them saying, unclean, unclean, unclean. And they could have only raised their voice when they realized that Jesus Christ was in that area. And they raised their voice towards him. And they said, oh, son of, oh, master, oh, Jesus, have mercy upon us. And Jesus heard their cry. Does not that, doesn't that sound familiar to you and me today? How we have cried out to Almighty God because we have been afflicted uh, by this pandemic. Uh, and, and we have searched high and searched low. Uh, and for over a year, uh, coming close to a year now, uh, we, we are trying to find a cure. And as they cried out to Jesus, uh, he, he, he heard their cry. And just like Jesus heard the lepers cry, I want you to know that Jesus is also hearing our cry to him as we cry out to him. And, 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 and all what we can do is to cry to Almighty God. The politicians have not heard our cry by even providing additional stimulus. Sometimes our neighbors and our friends and our loved ones and our families, they're not in a position to help us. And some of us have suffered silently. We have cried out in the middle of the night. We have cried out in the early morning. We have cried out because of what has been afflicting our body, our soul and our spirit. And we cry out to Almighty God asking for help, knowing that only he and he alone can help us. It's one thing to cry out, but it's another thing for someone to hear your cry. So many people have cried for help in the past and no one have heard their cry. So many people have heard, have cried out in the past for help and some people have heard their cry but have ignored their cries because they are not experiencing what they experience in. They don't know what they're going through and they passed on. I remember that man uh, that, that was afflicted on his way to Jericho uh, and thieves uh, robbed him. Uh, and, and so many people passed by uh, and saw him uh, laying down uh, dead uh, at the side of the road, uh, but did not help him. Uh, and I know. It's very frustrating to know that you're in need of help uh, and people are in a position of helping you, but yet uh, they did not. But the scripture continued to tell us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Show thyself unto the priests. And it came to pass as they went, they were cleansed. All Jesus had to do was to speak the word. He said, show thyself unto the priest. And when they went to the priest, they realized on their way to the priest that they were healed. Jesus is still in the healing business. Jesus is still in the business of providing for our needs. In fact, we have just heard this week of the amazing good news that we finally we have two vaccines on the way. Jesus 
have heard our cry. God, uh, I, I have heard our cry. In, in fact, the Bible tells us uh, that uh, if we call upon him, uh, he will answer us. And, and, and I pray uh, that we will give honor and glory to God, uh, even uh, for touching the hearts and minds of these scientists and giving them the wisdom and understanding to bring about uh, this vaccine uh, so that we can get relief uh, or eradicate this pandemic. God has a way of helping us in ways and means that we may not even think or imagine. And sometimes uh, I think we want to dictate to God just how he should help us. But God has his own way because he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways. Your ways said the Lord. And the Bible tells us that as a, the lepers were on their way to see the priest. Uh, they realized that they were healed, but one uh, came back and said uh, on uh, to Jesus, thank you. In fact, he did not just say unto Jesus, he fell uh, on his face uh, at the feet of Jesus and give thanks. Uh, that's what church we need to fall more on our faces before Almighty God. We, we need to allow our entire being to be involved in this aspect of thanksgiving. I remember this woman, uh, Magdalene, uh, that Jesus uh, delivered uh, from her sinful life. Uh, she was so thankful and so filled with gratitude uh, that the Bible tells us uh, that she used her tears uh, to wash Jesus' feet uh, and her hair to dry his feet. Uh, because she was so grateful uh, of what God has done in her life. And I hope today as a nation, I hope today as a church, I hope today as a family, I hope today uh, as uh, an individual uh, that we will throw ourselves, uh, we will throw our ourselves on our faces before Almighty God and give Him thanks uh, because He has always been there for us. Uh, yes, uh, it might take His own time, uh, but when God delivers, uh, He delivers in a miraculous way. And I want you to know today that I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that I'm serving a, a great, big, wonderful God. I'm so thankful that, that when, when God look beyond uh, our, our faults uh, and, and see our need uh, and respond accordingly. Because if God had to respond according uh, to our own actions and attitude, uh, then so many of us would be destitute today. But because he's a loving God, because he's a forgiving 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 God, he can reach out to us and intervene in our circumstance and situation. Let this Thanksgiving be a different one. Fill with praise and gratitude. Let this Thanksgiving be a different one by falling our faces before God and giving thanks. Uh, even when this pandemic is over, even when we return to our normal life, uh, let us not forget uh, the goodness uh, and the mercy and the grace uh, and the favor of God. Uh, and we should be rejoicing day by day to give thanks. Uh, not just uh, on a Thanksgiving Thursday uh, where we get together with families. In fact, this year is recommended that you don't even gather with families. But you know what? We can gather around the throne of grace. We can gather around the altar of prayer. We can gather in our closet there. And uh, we can say, Lord, thank you. Uh, thank you for delivering us. Uh, thank you for helping us. Thank you for making a difference in our lives. Uh, let us lift our voices uh, in thanksgiving before Almighty God. Let us praise him from the very depths of our soul uh, and our being. Uh, and let us praise him continually. His uh, words, uh, his, uh, his words uh, will be continually in our mouth. Uh, and we will have a continual continual praise of thanksgiving to him. And I pray that you will have a blessed thanksgiving and will be a blessing because of the mercy 
and the love and the grace of God. May God bless you.